Oh shit. Are you really that desperate? <laughs> Ow, my voice. I'm not ready for this. Finale? That don't even Shut up. <laughs> oh god, not that. Ow! That's right Oh god, you asshole. You're fire Yes, see? I told you. We're on the fifth soul. This is number five. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Ow. Ow. No, mouse, get out of here, you bitch! Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's 
cry. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy? Daddy? Somebody help. See what good it does you. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy! What a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. You suck. What? How'd you? Well, I'll just... Load failed. I can... What? Where are my powers? You have none. The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Oh, that voice is not good on my throat. It's not good on the mic either. I'm sorry, Michelle. Oh boy. But he tried to kill us first. <laughs> Self defense. Fine. What are you doing? You don't really think I've learned anything from this? No. Not helping. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. Let me live. I'll come back. Kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Are you still sure? This money didn't die for He's hours. soulless. He doesn't care. What do you do? Well. The proper response, well, the appropriate response would be to kill him, but the logical response would be to kill him. But the spiritual response would be to have mercy. So it's two against one. Unless you have another compelling reason. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I, I am in it for the long haul for the true pacifist run. Yep. Screw it. Screw logic. Screw society. Why are you being so nice to me? Okay. I can't understand. I can't understand. It's because he doesn't have a soul anymore. This is yeah. sad. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. He's gone. I am the winner. I win. Yeah. Oh, we're done. Nope. Not done. Nope. 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 I don't know why it's giving me this, because we haven't reached the ending yet. We haven't broken the barrier. This is just N ending. This isn't the ending. Couldn't... Couldn't the monster people <coughs> that you befriended, couldn't they, like, just get you across the border? Well, you'd have to die. You? You'd have to die. They'd have to die. One of them would have to die. Oh. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned. Now ruling over the other. She's a stated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that probably ain't happening anytime soon. Even though people are heartbroken over the king, things are looking grim for our freedom. The queen's trying her best not to let us leave a home. So, uh, hey, we're not giving up, guys.
down here. Don't give up wherever you are. Okay? Who knows how long you'll be here. But we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Uh oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human! How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Excuse me. We're Give me a second. Doing great. Give me a second. Well, besides one thing, the Queen disbanded the Royal Guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore. Wow! I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay, because I'm still working hard. Even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad. Papyrus is fine. I'm not just the one that's got it bad. She lost her job. Then she lost her house. Sad. But we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch. It's like a sleepover every night. never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I need some way to get, a, get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file then. Well, in the meantime, why didn't you go see Undyne? Oh, yeah, he's telling us to go see Undyne. Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. I guess we have more Undertale in us. Because... We're going because... To go our save file is here! Right before we fight Asgore. Pretty sure. Yep, I have all of my crap. Anyway, we're gonna go see Undyne, and by the power of editing, I shall be right back! We're back! Tra la la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Sure. Where will we go today? We gotta go to Waterfall. Then we're off. Ooh, ooh. Please, please give me the dialogue I want. Tra la la. If it's hot or cold, you can count on me. Nope, you didn't give me the dialogue I wanted. He says something very interesting. I will, we will sit here and go through every single transfer to get him to say it. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Anyway, back that way. Whew. 
And we're here. Oh-ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yeah. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure you give to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? I like how he did a twirl before he went in. There's a giant sword. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! Are you ready for this? <laughs> you two have fun! <laughs> he jumped out the window! <laughs> so, why are you here? Throw your victory in my face to humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. I was hoping. Really? How delightful! I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. Do you realize how many times people have said hopes and dreams all in the same sentence? Yep. A lot. Not That'll come into play later. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang! What a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. Yet, I beat your ass into the ground. Okay, I'll show him! Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties! Yay. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. That's not what besties are. It's kind of weird. Yeah. It's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Sure. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. What would you like? Jesus. Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! <laughs> um, why not just point to what you want? You can use a spear! Should we have tea? Or hot chocolate? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay, I guess we'll do tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I'm not a huge fan of tea, but I'll drink it. Sweet tea that's Uh, well, I like tea with cream and sugar because that makes it really good. I've actually never tried what you're saying right now. With cream and sugar? No. It's really good. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <sighs> boil, damn it! There we go. <laughs> it responded! <laughs> it's, okay, okay, it's all, it's all done. done. Hey, I'm the voice actor here. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
You're my guest. You sit there and watch. <laughs> and enjoy yourself. Okay. Here we are. And think very profoundly. Careful. It's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. She's screaming in case Papyrus can hear her. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of it. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on truck. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how, how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Oh boy. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds, and that's, that's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends! I am spinning everywhere! Oh god, she picked me up and put me down. Let's start with a sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! <laughs> I'm gonna choose for you. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god! Stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done! Yeah! Oh shit, <laughs> she murdered them. Uh, we'll just scrape this into the bowl later. But for now, we have the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store bread. They're the cheapest! Yeah! Uh, Place the noodles in whatever. Oh god. Nice! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Yeah! Harder! Ugh, let me do it! <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hotter! Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's two! We burnt our entire town.
Stone. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I've even failed to befriend you. That's it! I don't care if you're my guest anymore! One final rematch, all out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost pride! Now come on, hit me with all you've got! Pretend to swing it outside with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid, s stupid saccharine sh sh Oh god, I almost said shit. <laughs> Stick! But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their stall instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh well. And if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this Just flaming kidding. house. That's not what hey, I'd beat you up if you deserved it. Oh. But only if you learn from it. Only if I learn from it? Yeah. Like, if you didn't, I'd beat you up some more. <laughs> hey, I've done it before! You have? Yeah. Well, I mean, friends fight every once in a while. And usually it leads to fists and faces. And foot and feet up ass, but... I don't remember, but now I'm imagining an anime version. Oh, God! No! Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with the papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! Oh, wait! This is sudden, but... Can you... Hey, wait, your inventory's full. Uh, well, I'll be a papyrusist. Come see me when you have less stuff. Look, the fish is crying. Is it because it's on fire? Yes! Oh. Wouldn't you be crying if you were on fire? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we think I'd be dead. <sighs> well, guess what? We get to go to Snowden. But I gotta drop stuff off in the box first. I have the stick in here, but I have the frickin' knife in my inventory. Went the wrong way again. Fuck my life. I screwed up bad. It's a dog! Shut up. <laughs> Care for a ride? Yes. Where will we be go where will we go today? Snowden! Then we're off! And it's a floating dog. Please just say it. Timmy Village! The room before the darkening lantern room! That's where Timmy Village is. That's the one place we haven't been. Did he say it? No, that's different. I want him to say something else, but I don't think I have the fun value for it. We got some time. Blah blah blah. Even though he said tra la la, not blah blah blah. I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. 
Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much! You're the best! Anyway, we're off to go see Alphys. This is new stuff. This is new territory. Yeah, this is, we're heading towards the ending we're looking for. Care for a ride? Yes! Hotland! And we're off! Hopefully he says it this time. Just say it. Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> pet, pet, pet. The next stretches infinitely into the cosmos. That's not it either, but that's still funny. Don't worry about it. I think he's talking about the annoying dog, because if you pet the annoying dog, its neck gets longer. <laughs> Feel like I'd, be tempted to pet the dog. I'd probably pet it too much. The door has no mail slot. Should we slide the letter under? Uh, yes. Yeah. Slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh no! Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey! This is a jo joke. It's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. Surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Oh crap, here we go. Again. Oh. This was meant for Undyne. Uh, sorry. Still getting dressed. She's putting a dress on. How do I look? My friend helped me pick up this dress. She's got a great sense of, um... Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating... <laughs> I don't think anything needs to be said. Why the garbage dump? She has a big crush on that.
Obviously. <laughs> okay then. I like how certain things are misspelled, too. I, I'm just gonna let this play out. Get papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those bones shaken. <laughs> it's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. ending fights again. Oh. <sighs> uh, it's only gonna get worse. Actually, I don't think we have to fight Omega Flowey. I don't think so. But we do have to fight in our of what Flowey is gonna turn into. Though. So, that's the DON'T SAY THAT! <laughs> if it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early, very early, so I sent her home, very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there, to her lab, house. I have only good feelings about this. This seems very sketchy. Goodbye! Oh boy, here we go. It's gonna get good. We're not done yet. I, I lied. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Not 
have this box. I forgot that I have dimensional boxes. I can put the snowman piece away. Because I wanted to keep that till the end of the game anyway. Instead of the toy knife, I have a real knife equipped. Did you notice that? I also have a heart locket. And those will be important later. Later. Much later. Very much later. <laughs> no, I didn't want to go to... Damn it. Well, we're going to Snowden. For no apparent reason. It's a trick question. It goes one direction. Bad joke. Why don't you sing with me? I don't get the joke. It's a band. I know. But that was the joke, and I hated it. I'm sorry. Then we're off! Ow, my hand. I punched my own hand. <laughs> hmm. I should have worn a few million more pairs of pants today! <laughs> Why do you think he's so bulky under that coat? Oh, but he wears a bunch of clothes. I guess. I guess that's the joke. Still on camera for some reason. Alphys, I thought you fixed this. Read. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey! Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. For that to happen, I have to be able to admit face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine, but if you don't ever hear from me again, I want you... If you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. <laughs> I get it. That's all she wrote. Oh, no. Is it? Is it? Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. I think I just found it. The true lab. We are here. Yes! This is where things get dark. So be prepared. Wait, they haven't already gotten dark? <sighs> Screw you. <laughs> Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be re recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster so last. Entry number five. I've done it! Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Now, where have we heard that over and over and over again? Whenever we reach the same point. Exactly. Uh, now, why do you think no one has ever commented on the save points other than Sans? Um. Think about it for a second. They don't know about it? No, they can't see them. See, there's a save point right here. 
and it didn't say anything about determination at the time. We are in the true laboratory, or laboratory, for people who want to say that. There's a note on the ground, you can't make it all out. Elevator lost power, enter the center door, that's all you can read. Power room. Can't go in. Buy chips for 25G? I'm full up. Because we're going to be attacked down here. Entry number six. Hey, I went the right way. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. It's to the dust. What happens if I get determination? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back to the people. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Crap, I died. Hey, you're hurt. Okay, I'm not gonna activate that sink. Cannot end now. Blah, 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 blah. Stay determined. Anyway, we read that. Oh, God. How many times am I gonna die before I even learn to leave stuff alone? Can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you can read. I guess we have to. Their memory heads. What do you think these things are? Not quite. We're not in a computer. I'll just keep it 
rejecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened his eyes. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking with nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. We'll send everyone to back tomorrow. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! no. Whoa! Soul Extractor! It's lemon bread! You come up to your turn. Welcome to my sp- Oh god! How do I dodge this? Get it. Oh god, I'm dead. Whoops. At least the game doesn't crash every time I die now, right? Yeah. That sucked. For me, not for you. You were just sitting there watching, and I wasn't expecting to go straight to the soul extractor. have to face him to get what he has. Another key. Okay. Welcome to my special hell. Oh shit. We're in one hell of a ride. Wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Mm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Edible. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. 
Uh, no, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Get it? She's gonna be a mom. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous mommy. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Okay, Kara. Are you ready? Do your creepy face. Oh no, it's far too soon for this. Wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again. Come on, quit tricking me. Howdy, Kara. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. What? Oh yeah, I remember when we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Oh, I... I don't like this idea, Kara. W what? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Kara. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll, be we'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. want you to wake up. Kara, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the f future of humans and monsters. Psst, Kara, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no. I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Extraction machine. You're catching. 
going on. They were doing soul science. Who is the scientist? Is probably your question. No, Asriel was a child when he died. Not yet. Do it! Don't, don't do it. What's going on? Don't do it. Don't touch me. Oh, thank you. That's, that's weird. Oh, it was tucking us in. Because we're sleeping. We're just pretending to sleep? Well, apparently our kit, our character, character doesn't sleep. Because, I mean, people have speculated whether this child is a male or a female. And, I mean, there's a lot of evidence to point towards whether it being a male or a female. And people just kind of choose because what you're about to learn is that there are many different timelines to this game. Because the timeline we've run through is the true pacifist timeline. Okay. But alternative, or t alternatively... This is the true pacifist timeline. Alternatively, we went through the pacifist timeline before. Where we fought Asgore and Omega Flowey and got to the ending. That was the normal pacifist ending. We are in the true pacifist timeline right now. Yeah. Alternatively, there is a neutral timeline and a genocide timeline. All running at the same time. And what Flowey was doing was he was taking control over the timelines. Uh, and every time we die and reset, another timeline is created. Uh, so how many die? I haven't died that many times on this run through, but I've still created at least six or seven more timelines. Yeah, I'd say there's at least seven times when we've died on at least, because I didn't die once going back to when I did my, redid my playthrough. Ah. So yeah, this time it would not be many. But what's interesting is the thing is, if you have enough determination, you have the power to control the timeline. And that's what the save points are. They are literal conduits in controlling the timeline. The only reason we can save and load is because of our determination. It is at such a high level that we literally have control over the timeline. We could reset everything if we wanted to at this moment right now. But that would just create another timeline. Yeah. And the only people who are not affected by the timeline resets. There are only two. Now, who do you think those two people are? Uh, Flowey. And... I know, I can see you're thinking about it. Who judged us? Sans. So Sans is... Sans is not affected by the resets. Oh. If we did a genocide run, after I reset the timeline, he would talk about it. Oh. Like, I'll show you all the dialogue if you want to see it. Like, I'm not going to play through it and do a genocide run. I'm going to 
show you the dialogue. I'm going to show you a video, a YouTube video of people fighting Sans, and it's ridiculously hard. Anyway, we're going to get out of bed, and we're going to fight the, this thing. Well, not really fight it, but... Oh. I expected a fight. Never mind that! We're good! <laughs> matter what it nothing else matters it does ignore the fact that your wife left you ignore the fact you have a giant lump on your head all you have to know is it's a dick What's his dad? <laughs> i don't remember but it was hilarious nope <laughs> i'm not doing that uh, the slow creep towards that was not very real. okay that's two keys i only need two more then i'm gonna ignore the fuck out of that but it nope the hell out. Nope! I'd rather do the thing behind the curtains rather than do that. That sounds wrong in every way, but here we go. It's making a weird noise, too. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. That was Alphys. So that was Alphys. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Sure. Hi! Uh. Don't do it. It's the amalgamate. Uh. It's like the annoying dog shape, but weird. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. That's not fair. Ow. I hate that there's no music. It's the remains of a dog! I was about to say that. Oh, that's sad. Don't kill me. I just want to be nice to you. Stage one happiness froth. And Dogony is contented. I knew it was a dog. You wanna know how I knew it was a dog? No, because it was acting just like that great dog. That Red key, the yellow key, and the green key, so all that's left is the blue key. Hey. Entry 
Story number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Entry number 20. Asgore left me, left me five messages. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute sea coming down the looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Alright, here we go! Aw, oh, come on! I was about to go to the shaking!
<laughs> Stay away from me. Oh. Reminds me of a boss in Cry of Fear. I actually have to redo that series. It's a horror game. It's a mixture of that weird bird thing, frog it, and um, something else. Regular suspicious bed now. What? Oh no. I found a secret. guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to get it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came back here to back me up. As I was, as I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but there's, that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death, but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters... Uh, I skipped it. Physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lose what physicality they had. Pretty soon all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work knowing. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Balls. Will that happen? Whoa. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. Owie. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. It's a voice you've never heard before. Kara, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Kara, see you soon. Keep it in mind. Oh. We're here. We're here. We're here. Oh my god. You asshole. 
skipping me straight to the end. That's not fair. Don't tell me I'm going to get judged again. Okay, no. There's no point in me being judged again. Why would I? Yeah, Asgore's already waiting for me. I forgot. Are you ready? Yeah. We're going to go through this again. And I'm going to do it flawlessly this time. And not be an idiot. Are you ready? You know what this episode's going to be called, right? Yes. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. This is where I went wrong. I was supposed to go back and talk to Bandai. But now that everything is finished, we can continue. I see. This is it, then. Ready? The six human souls. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Ouch. That had to sting. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Does this remind you of something? Did you watch my first episode? Otherwise, you would have missed this completely. Um. That was Oh. The goat lady. Yeah. <laughs> goat mom. Don't be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply, simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here making hope, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I'm a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. <laughs> yeah! Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends or us all! Oh. Hello, I am Toria. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah! Nice to meet you, too. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough. Hey! Nobody hurt each other! Oh! Don't interrupt! I worked really hard for this! Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toria. Hello! Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help! Hello! Oh, hello, your majesty! Psst, hey human, did Asgore shave and clone himself? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toria. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! 
I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly! A skeleton tile his roof with... Shingles! I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> yeah, Asgore, Undyne's totally right about the fi about that fish thing. Sometimes you just got to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action! Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy! Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it! Huh? Well, uh, I guess, if you want to, then don't hold anything back! Well, wait! Not in front of the human! Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here. Well, besides, uh, her... Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me out. Oh. <laughs> a tiny flower? <laughs> oh, shit. We're in deep shit now. Oh, not awesome. You idiots! Yes, I can bring the flower you both back. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls! And now, not only are those souls under my power, but all your friends' souls are gonna be mine, too! <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here! And now with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game! If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game! If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Oh shit. Even if it means killing you a million times. Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Haha! -ha. That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything! Don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You guys haven't beaten you haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat it, but somehow I know you can do it. Human for the future of humans and monsters, you must stay determined. <laughs> oh god. They're all here. Here we go. No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You! You! 
can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine! Relax. Okay. Relax. <sighs> Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Kara, are you there? It's me. Your best friend. Asriel Dreamer. It's the end. Ow. Ow.
then you lose to me again. and for all. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game is really impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have left, you can save something else. <laughs>
some humans are okay, I guess. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something is resonating. This song's called. No, wait, that was the last one. This is Save the World. Get it? Save? Because we're saving it. remembered you something else began resonating within your soul within the soul stronger and stronger it seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved but who suddenly you realize you reach out and call their name huh what are you doing Feel your friend's souls resonating with an Azrael. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Kara. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's had uh, any fun to play with anymore. No, that's 
not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Kara. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this, and just let me win! Stop it! Stop it now! Kara, I'm so alone. I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Kara? I know. You're not actually Kara, are you? Kara's been gone for a long time. Um, what... What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk, I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I don't not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every mo other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Torio. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Forgive. <laughs> what? Frisk, come on. You're you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forget me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's heart beating hearts beating as one. Well. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. The barrier was destroyed. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Comfort him. Hug! Hug! Whether you like it or not. <laughs> I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're, you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you. Okay. Well, 
My time's <laughs> running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Frisk, this is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. Felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry! I don't cry! I just caught something in my eye! What did you catch? Tears! No, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Give them space first. They must be very exhausted, though, from what I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before that, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait here for you. so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes. Sure, why not? Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador, and I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression! Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting in trouble. See you guys. I like how he walks off in the opposite direction. Man, do I hate it, have to do everything. Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, 
wait up. Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other places to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need, all right? Now come along. Everyone is waiting for us. I like how there's a castle off in the distance, even though it's... That's it! Yeah! It's over! Yeah, I always sit through the credits. Professional frog. Braver every day. Found a new game. Popular nutritionist. Casually enjoyed life. Oh, 
over. I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. <laughs> ah! I have to catch them all! Uh, 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 I can't. I can't do it. I was always bad. Secretly, I'm bad. You guys tell me I'm good at games, but I'm really bad. had it in my game list for a long time and I never played it. Oh, there is an end credit scene. Oh. Thanks, Mom. Do we want to do both of our sign-offs on this one? 
Well, oh. I wanted to say some things first. Oh. I can't do anything, so might as well say it now. But anyway, I just want to say thank you all so much. Oh god, here he comes, the annoying dog. Shut up! I'm doing my monologue that I do it at, at the end of every game. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for supporting us. Um, I honestly we would be nowhere without any of you. I we wouldn't have kept doing this if we didn't if we knew you didn't enjoy it. But I loved this game. This game has a special place in my heart. Um, I'm involved in a lot of the lore, but um, Quentin isn't because he doesn't know all the all about it. You should look it up. There's a lot of good lore to read. Anyway, I don't think there's anything to do but to sit and look at it. So anyway, this has been one hell of a ride. <laughs> yep. For how many episodes is this? Nah. 14? Yeah, 14. If and it took us 8 months. Places. And it t I don't know. If it's 15, that'd be great. I think Pretty good even number. It took us eight months to get through this game. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it took us eight months. I like how the dog's laying oh, down. We've had busy schedules. Yeah, we've had really busy days. We've had really busy schedules, and we've been not focusing on it sometimes. But I'm really glad that we decided today of all days to finish it. We still have time to do stuff later too. Uh, and it's been such a good day that just personally, mm. and we laugh. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Quentin, so much for joining me on this joyride. However, this is not the last collab on a Let's Play that we'll be doing. Oh, definitely not. No, absolutely not. Our next one, he is going to be joining me for the entirety of my Subnautica series. Yeah! Which is also a good game, if not scary as hell. <laughs> it's not quite a horror game, but it's it's scary to me, and I'm sure you'll find it scary in some aspects I, too. I was gonna find, I was gonna make a bad joke about deepness, but you know no. what? No, no. This game ended so no, quick, and I almost cried a little uh, bit. I got I got a little watery, yeah. I didn't shed a tear. But it it, it got you. It, you I'm all, it almost got you there. Yeah. When I first read about the ending of this game, the true pass was sending, I did cry. Because I had read all the lore before it, and I had already known about Azriel and Kara. But it was when I, I read the ending of the true pass fist, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so beautiful. And I, I just bawled. I was bawling for like an hour. But anyway... As always, we appreciate every single one of you, and we will see all of you in the next game. Bye! Bye.